Hi, I'm Jim McSorley and I teach photography, digital media, yearbook, and video production here at the Middle College in High Point. This is my 11th year and I'm very interested in teaching online as this school started as the School of Entertainment Technology and that's really no longer our focus. So instead of having a lot of students to sign up for my classes because they're interested in digital media, photography, visual arts, students are mainly now just taking it as an elective. And that's okay, but I'd really like to teach more students who are passionate about learning photography and all the applications and potential they have in terms of creating artistic projects, not just for my class, but for other classes in the curriculum and for college courses. In an online environment, I came to teaching 11 years ago lateral entry, so I had to take a bunch of online courses in education to get certified. So I'm very familiar with the frustrations in communication with professors online and my understanding with other teachers I know that teach online courses here, as well as my mentor who taught online science classes. The most difficult part kind of is getting that communication system with the students set up. Once you've got that means of communication set up and the students are comfortable with contacting you via email or the online resources, then the class can go a lot smoother and students will get a lot more out of it. So once the classroom is set up and you've established that communication with the parents and student at home, it seems to work very well from what I understand from the other teachers and colleagues I've talked to who are currently teaching online classes. Uh, I would use strategies that this is an art form and students can be as creative as their mind will allow them to be with photography. That my visualization of art and photography could be completely different from the students' visualization and they are free to create their art, their photography, however they feel. Uh, for example, my current photography students are working on a portrait project and when you think portrait, I guess most students, when you think portrait, they think of their yearbook pose. But I want them to think outside the box, to be as creative if it means uh, a certain look or style that they're into, getting their friends downtown in an urban environment, or graffiti, or park environment with rocks and lakes and different environments. So really encouraging the students to get outside into their environment that something that they're passionate about and they're genuinely interested in and where they can take pictures. And I teach uh, DSLR photography. I don't have a DSLR with me right now because my students have checked them out, but I do teach the different applications with interchangeable lenses, but mostly uh, folks nowadays uh, take pictures with one of these. So I teach iPhone photography as well because that makes it easy on a lot of students who may not be able to afford uh, a DSLR or have access to a camera um, to use their phone. And then we post our projects on Wix.com. So I use a variety of online resources for the students to be able to show off their work and also see examples of photography. I have flip lessons on my YouTube channel. I use Digital Photography School as a great resource and I just knew this year signed up for an online course uh, on Fordella, which I'm new to, but from what I've seen so far, it makes it very simple and then goes into very detailed work. So students have access to my flip lessons 24 seven, as well as these other online resources to watch and see step-by-step -step tutorials on how to work the buttons on the camera, as well as composition techniques for photography. So it truly can be an individualized artistic craft that I uh, just want to spark the interest in students that you can do some really cool things very easily. Whether you want to have a DSLR with interchangeable lenses or just use your phone and have fun and take lots and lots of pictures. Back when I created my high school yearbook, we had film in a dark room and you didn't know what you had until you spent the hours in the dark room. Now you can instantly see what you've got in photography and instantly transmit it by an email or message. So it's a fun hobby, fun art form that can be shared among students, friends, and family. Uh, 
the online setting, uh, they can't come in and say, hey, Mr. Mac, show me how to push this button or how do I do this? Uh, but I think with the detailed tutorials and I have my email set up right on my phone so students email me or message me, if that's allowed, I can quickly answer their questions and get right back to them if they have a question on a particular project. And just by using Google Images, for example, portraits, I tell the students just go online and search portraits and look at all the millions of examples of the different portrait styles. Uh, the most important factor in teaching students in an online environment is patience, quick response, and giving step-by-step -step detailed examples of each button, each key to the next step. So many times I go to YouTube tutorials for different editing applications and things I just am drawing a blank on over the years and I get frustrated because some of them skip over or assume you know the basic steps in the process. So assuming that students don't know anything about it and walking them through step by step uh, the process so that they don't get frustrated, they don't feel like they're being left behind and really enjoy working with the art form regardless of whether they've been taking pictures and have their own DSLR or didn't even know there was an HDR setting on their iPhone to help them take pictures. Uh, this will easily fit into my workload here at the Middle College in High Point. Uh, my first class is at noon because our students take college classes and then we're done at 5.30. Recording this right now, right after school at uh, 5.53. So I would be available here in early evening hours or during uh, the morning before my classes start. So that would be a, a very easy fit into my schedule as far as the workload in teaching the students. On a scale of one to four, uh, I would say a five. I love new technology and working with the, the newer phones that have photography applications. In fact, I just had a student today show me an application that she had downloaded on her iPhone that helps her edit and work with pictures. So I enjoy learning new things just as well as helping teaching my students learn uh, new applications in photography, video, and digital media. Double checking to make sure I answered all the questions. A student who may not be excelling. Um, I have several students with special needs who are not gifted in technology and I allow them to work at their own pace to submit projects that maybe don't require as much detail as other students. Uh, but beyond that is that this is, this is art class. This is like taking a music class or art class in school. This is supposed to be fun where you can be uh, creative. So encouraging them not to get frustrated or if they see examples of other students' work to not say, oh, I'm never going to be able to do that, to work at their own pace and see their own creative progress throughout the course. Um, I have students that knew absolutely nothing, had never held a camera, couldn't tell the lens from the viewfinder, who now do some beautiful work and come in every morning wanting to show me, check out these new pictures I've shot. So I think just being patient and realizing that not every student's going to be able to go downtown to take pictures or go to a park. They may be confined to their own neighborhood environment and that certainly will provide plenty of opportunities for picture taking. So I hope I answered all the questions. I really would love this opportunity and hope it works out. Thank you very much for watching the video.